Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm John. We're with Snohomish County Strength right in downtown Everett. Welcome to the Squat Box Sessions, where we answer your questions on strength and fitness straight from the Pacific Northwest. PNW. And it's a beautiful day. Josh, how you doing, man? Doing well. Just got a solid uh, workout in. Trained by this guy. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, we did some goblet squats, some Ooh. farmer's carries, uneven, different weights on either side, push-ups. What else did we do? Pull-ups. Some good quality the movement. essentials yeah. of any strength training program. Oh, it was good, good, man. Good. How was your weekend? Pretty solid. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers. Belated about, Mother's Day. How about you? Uh, it was good. Had uh, folks in town. They got to spend time with the new baby boy. And he behaved quite well. Score. So yeah, man. Everything's good, dude. It's bright and sunny. I know, man. In a place that's usually like dark and dreary, so it's good. <laughs> that's right. It's good, man. Sweet. You ready for a question? I am. All right. Our first question today is from Daphne from Everett. How do Daphne. You, how do you spell it? D A T N E. Hey, hold on, real quick. Speaking of names. Yes. My daughter has a very specific first and middle name. One of my daughters. Yeah. And one of our good friends decided to name her kid. But the same first and last name, or certain first and middle name, and we'll not name the person. The same first and middle name, huh? It's just a, a thing. I got a thing about it. So they like, is that really flattering? It was initially, but then I'm like, hey, that's a specific thing that you don't you don't cross that line. Oh, that is interesting. But anyways, sorry. Continue. I just thought when I heard the name, I was like, names. What's your middle name, John? Michael. So I should like the my next, angel. My next son, Jonathan Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Daphne, whatever your middle name is, we don't know. That's fine. Daphne asks, "How long should I rest between workouts?" Excellent, excellent question, yeah. Daphne. Uh, well, if you're like most people, when they get started, they tend to not rest between their workouts. They tend to hit it really hard every day for a couple weeks, and then. They just flatline and they're done, and then they never pursue their goals or dreams ever again. Um, hopefully that's not like you because you're asking such a great question. Daphne, this is going to depend on a number of different factors. Number one, your training age. Meaning, uh, it doesn't matter, like, you could be old or you could be young, but if you've been training for 10 or 12 years, you, you may have adapted well to training. And so you may be able to train four or five, six, or even every day of the week. Uh, but somebody who's new to training, it's a good chance that three or four days a week is going to be just fine for them. Uh, when people are just getting used to training or working out, uh, they'll be subject to the infamous uh, muscle soreness a lot more often. Okay? Even people that are trained and experienced still do get that, um, but they can typically recover from it a lot quicker. A number of other things that are going to depend on, that are going to be main factors into how often you can train, how long you should rest. Uh, how much sleep are you getting? Okay, if your sleep sucks um, and your nutrition just isn't on par, you're not going to feel much energy to go work out the next day. Uh, so you may need a couple days to recover between your workouts. Um, and then the other big factor, uh, Daphne, uh, is going to depend on what type of workouts are you actually doing. Are you doing these like two hour long compound slaughter fests with like thousands of squats and uh, overhead presses and like human throwing or whatever you're doing, it's going to take you a long time to recover from that type of workout, right? Um, or if you're doing these high intensity nonsense things where you're like doing rope slams for 10 minutes straight without a break or you're, you're running a marathon and then you're pushing cars around the parking lot, if you're doing something so high intensity you're, more than anything, your nervous system needs to be able to recover from that. So chances are uh, anywhere from 48 to 72 hours is probably going to be plenty for that. Um, if you're hitting just strength-based movements um, and you're only tackling one or two movements a day, chances are you can probably train every 24 hours. Uh, and then there are some freaks of nature out there that can actually train multiple times a day, multiple days a week, no issues. Uh, but for the average person, somewhere between 24 and 72 hours uh, between workouts is going to be just fine. If you're more experienced, 
you can usually use less time. If you're less experienced and you're new to it, um, typically 48 to 72 hours. That's two to three days for people who don't understand hours. <laughs> That's a lot of hours. Just got to make sure. Um, but uh, yeah, hope that answers your question, Daphne. Um, listen to your body. If you're excessively sore and you feel weak and your energy is low, probably just skip the workout for that day or just go on a walk. Do something leisurely, something that still gets the blood flowing, uh, get your mind cranking and working and gets the, gets the muscles working a little bit, but keep the intensity low. And then when you're feeling back at it and you're feeling well, go in, hit it hard, but not too hard because you want to come back again. Um, but I hope that answers your question, Daphne. Yeah, great question. Sweet. Well, Bottom thanks. line, listen to your body. There you go. Sure. Listen to your body. Thanks for joining us today, Daphne, and all those other followers, listeners, watchers. If you have a question, we want to know what you want to know. So hit us up at info at snowcoaststrength.com, and maybe you'll see your question answered on the next video. Boom! Or hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Nahomas County Strength and message us because we want to message you back. I don't think you can put a subject in the message, but just hit us up, say hi, let us know what your question is, and you might see it on the next episode. Hey, this is episode 10. Whoa, 10. Two digits. So much. Sweet episodes. So many episodes. That's it. All right, that's all we got for you today. Take care. Stronger every day. Peace. See ya.